The bell is rung. This match is underway. Eddie Guerrero, former WWE champion. Randy Orton, former youngest world champion in WWE history. Both know what it's like to be on the top of the mountain. And both are looking to do it again with this match being a number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight Championship. The winner will go on to face the World Heavyweight Champion, the Animal Batista. Batista, a man that Randy Orton knows so well. And so does Eddie Guerrero. But for Randy Orton, he and Batista were allies. They were brothers. Evolution was like a family. And these two tying up, getting a feel for each other. This is a big match. As Latino Heat and the Legend Killer lock up again, Randy Orton is such an incredible young athlete. The, the possibilities are endless for the future of Randy Orton. Beautiful drop kick to the Legend Killer. And now goes to the cover. Orton kicking out at one. This is a, but the thing about this, Randy Orton may be young and hungry. This is a new and improved Eddie Guerrero. The best version of Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero's back and he wants gold once again. Oh, a cheap shot. Learn that one from his mentor, the nature boy, Ric Flair. And a backdrop suplex and a kick out by Eddie Guerrero going as Randy Orton. Now, headlock takeover to Latino Heat. And Randy Orton cinching that in deep, trying to put as much torque on the neck of Guerrero as possible. Wait, but Eddie Guerrero turns into a cover. And a kick out by Guerrero. Randy Orton turns it right back into the hold, though. Randy Orton has Guerrero right where he wants him. This is going to be a tough spot for Guerrero. As you, as Eddie Guerrero, the longer Eddie Guerrero's in this side headlock, the more Eddie Guerrero starts to fade, the more oxygen Guerrero starts to lose. But it seems Guerrero's starting to work his way back up to his feet, trying to create some much-needed separation at this point, working in the corner, which is going to force a rope break. This is going to force a rope break. And Randy Orton knows that last thing either of these men want. And now it's Eddie Guerrero. I couldn't even get my words out. And Eddie Guerrero playing a little dirty back. He likes to lie, cheat, and steal. Eddie using the tag rope to choke out Randy Orton. And now the official saying, hey, you got to break this. Eddie Guerrero trying to choke Randy Orton out. Randy Orton had the first little... Cheap move. And Eddie Guerrero's like, you know what? You want to do it? I'll one-up you, and I'll do it better. Eddie, with the sole of the boot, just rubbing it across the face of the legend killer, who's now on wobbly legs. Oh, what a big European uppercut to Orton, who just goes down, pulls the leg back for the cover. Orton able to kick out. And now this is where Guerrero becomes so focused, so dangerous. Once Eddie gets into it, you know, the motion, once Eddie gets it, once he starts feeling it, this is not where you want to be because here comes the three amigos and things are starting to, oh, but, oh, come on. There's Cowboy Bob Orton getting up on the ring apron to distract Eddie. And now it's Eddie who's trying to stay on the attack despite the little bit of dis the distraction from Randy Orton's legendary father, Cowboy Bob Orton and this time nobody home Eddie Guerrero eating the turnbuckles and this time it's Orton with a beautiful drop kick to Eddie Guerrero we saw a drop kick from Eddie Guerrero to Randy Orton earlier in the match can Eddie Guerrero find his way back in this number one contenders match ladies and gentlemen we are back live on Smackdown it is Eddie Guerrero and Randy Orton we are in San Antonio, Texas. Let's take a look at what happened before commercial break. Beautiful drop kick, landing right on the money of Eddie Guerrero. And since then, Randy Orton's been on the... Oh, what a backbreaker to Latino Heat. 
as Orton pulls the leg back to get the victory. And only enough for a two count. Orton's face says it all. And referee Brian Hebner saying, hey, he kicked out. Shoulders up. Ooh. Driving the knee into the chest of Guerrero and going right back on a, on a chin lock on Latino Heat. Randy Orton's got this locked in deep. And you saw the way he yanked the head of Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero may be in trouble. Eddie Guerrero is going to have to find a way to break, break free of this. And you can see Cowboy Bob Orton watching this closely. You've got two former world champions competing for the chance to be back on top. For a chance to be the top of the game. The chance to grab that proverbial brass ring. Who's going to grab it? Is it going to be the legend killer? The up and the young Randy Orton? Is it going to be Latino Heat? Eddie Guerrero. This match was made by the SmackDown general manager. And now we're going to see who's going to go on to face the Animal Batista. Either way, it's going to be a tough battle to go against the Animal Batista. But if there's any two people that can take on Batista, it's two people who know him very well. Either one of these men could go against Batista. And right now, it's Eddie Guerrero with a backbreaker to Randy Orton, who was writhing in pain. And now, with both men down, we are at ground zero, and the official Brian Hebner starts the, starts the count. The count of five. Already at the count of seven. Can you imagine this is a double count on neither earn the title match? Uh, Eddie Guerrero's back up, and he goes after Randy Orton. Randy Orton counters with a drop to hold. Talk about the whiplash and that. It's the way Eddie smacked off the ropes, and it's Randy Orton who goes to the cover. Oh! And just barely Eddie Guerrero able to get the shoulder up. And again, Randy Orton pulls the leg back. And again, Eddie Guerrero kicks out of two. And, and Randy Orton for the third time goes to the cover, and again, Eddie kicks out of two. And it's just Randy Orton building up frustration. You got to keep your eye on the ball. When a chance to be world champion is on the line, the last thing you need is to let your emotions get the best of you. The last thing you need is for your frustrations to block your focus on your opponent, especially when your opponent is as skilled, as talented as Eddie Guerrero. The veteran Eddie Guerrero is starting to fight back, but it's Randy Orton who blocks Eddie Guerrero and now tosses Guerrero like a bag of dirt to the outside onto the floor. And Randy Orton goes to the outside, stalking Eddie Guerrero like he's prey. Randy Orton driving Guerrero face first into our announce desk. Eddie might, I don't even think Eddie knows where he is at this point. And it might just be a matter of just Randy Orton getting Eddie Guerrero back in the ring to finish this one off. Oh, wait, but Eddie blocks. Now it's Eddie Guerrero who's repaying the favor, setting Randy Orton face first in our announce desk. And now Guerrero gets countered by Orton, who sends Guerrero into the steel steps. That's brutal. Shoulder first of Guerrero into the steel steps. That was a hard hit. You could hear the sound of the steel steps and then the flesh and bone. And Eddie able to find the bottom rope. That's those veteran instincts of Latino heat. Great ring awareness. And Orton, Orton's frustration is just building up. He might explode like a balloon. As Randy Orton sends Guerrero into the ropes. And Randy Orton once again returning back to a submission hold. Trying to wear Guerrero out. And this is a smart strategy that we've been seeing by Randy Orton throughout this match. Randy Orton knows Eddie Guerrero has really great cardio. And trying to slow down Guerrero is going to be good for Randy Orton in the long run. As Guerrero starts to fade, it could be Randy Orton who will meet the Animal Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. As Guerrero drops down, Guerrero's eyes are closed. He's starting to fade. fade, And he's fading quickly. Randy Orton can become world champion once again. As I mentioned earlier, he is, 
He was once the youngest world heavyweight champion in WWE history. Still holds that record. But of course, Batista is the current world heavyweight champion. That's two. One more time. If Guerrero's out, he's out. And wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Eddie Guerrero able to keep the arm up. There is still fight left in Guerrero. This is an opportunity for Guerrero. Is this a last gasp effort? Is this the last bit of energy that Eddie Guerrero has in the tank? If it is, he's going to go out and he's going to fight. As he starts to feel it, he's starting to pick up momentum. As he fights back. Elbows to the ribs of Orton. And now Eddie is all fired up and is going after the legend killer. Boom! What a shot to the face. Knocks Randy Orton off his feet. And Eddie... Eddie's shown that effects of the sleeper. Beautiful suplex. There's one. There's two. Going for those that patented three amigos. There's two. And there's one more. Third time's the charm. One for good measure. And is it Eddie Guerrero's time? Is it his time to once again reclaim gold? Will he go on to challenge Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship? But again, it's Cowboy Bob Orton and Eddie Guerrero says, Nope, I'm going to kick you back. I don't have time for these games. And here goes Eddie up at the top. Oh, come on. And Cowboy Bob Orton interfering. And, and referee Brian Hadmer had no choice but to call for the bell. And now it's Bob Orton who stomps away on Eddie Guerrero. And now it's Randy Orton who's going to go back on the attack and continue the work that his father just hand-delivered him. And now beating the hell out of Eddie Guerrero, beating the life out of Latino Heat. Well, rather beating the heat out of the Latino. Wait a minute. Here he is. The speaking of the world heavyweight champion, the animal Batista's here. Taking out. The Orton's Cowboy Bob Orton and the legend killer Randy Orton. And the world heavyweight champion coming to the aid of Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero wins by disqualification. You heard it by Tony Chimmel. Eddie, that, that means one thing. Eddie Guerrero is going to be the one to challenge Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. Batista saying Eddie Guerrero is his amigo, and that just proves it. Batista showing his respect to Latino Heat. 